Three more. Three more. If you ever play cards with Meridian coach Bob Ames, beware. Odds are he has one of the best poker faces around. Although the Trojans return 18 seniors, Ames isn't about to reveal his hand. We're not real deep. You know, this is a little small A school. I mean, we're not Bellingham or Seaholm or the big powers in our league. You know, Lennon, Lennon Christian, Nooksack, Blaine, or Mount Baker. We're just little old Meridian. But hey, little old Meridian is tabbed by many as one of the preseason favorites in the Whatcom County League. Well, right now, you know, we're, we're just trying to attain that seventh spot and uh, maybe win our inner squad game. And we had a scrimmage out here, our number ones and twos, and our twos had to go home, and six plays later, our ones scored. So that's pretty much where we're at right now. But seriously, Meridian returned several skill position players from quarterback Bob Benham to an experienced backfield and strong receiving core. We're hoping to get out of, the, you know, get out of county and see what we can do. We, one of the goals is just to play each game one at a time. We, we want to go on. We want to know what it's like to go on for, like, me and Bob and all the guys that are going to be seniors and graduating. There's 18 of us, so there's a lot of goals for us. Our goal is to go to state. That's what we're going to do. That's what, everyone, that's what everyone's talking about because we, we're just uh, looking forward to this year. It's going to be an exciting year. Everyone's, we're, I think we're way ahead of what we are, and everyone's just doing good. On defense, the Trojans have a relatively inexperienced line, but a veteran secondary. As far as the rest of the WCL, the race may go to the wire again. Everyone's going to be pretty balanced this year. Everyone's going to have something. I think the whole league's going to be balanced. And, uh, but I just look at us. I hope, I hope we're on top when it comes to the end. I don't know what we're going to do. You know, you never know playing yourself. Right now, the only real positive, solid thing is we're undefeated. So the Trojans have anteed up for the season, but are they bluffing? At Meridian, I'm Jeff Weingart for News View. Let's move on now to high school football at Linden Christian. And what's this? A little campaigning for George Bush? Well, speaking of incumbents, the Lynx here in blue are the defending Watkins County League champs and look to have a better chance at repeating than Mr. Bush does at this juncture. The Lynx were all over Meridian quarterback Bob Benham as Linden Christian beats the Trojans 21 to eight. Leading 14 to nothing in the third, Linden Christian's Brian Rorda picks Benham's pass out of the air and rambles 12 yards for the touchdown. Meridian gets on the board with just over a minute left in the game, but it was too little too late. And while we're talking about President Bush, the Lynx took a page from his executive playbook. They had a plan and stayed the course. The kids executed the plan. I didn't do anything except for on Monday tell them what I wanted to do, but unless they execute it, it doesn't matter what I do. Let's move on to the Whatcom County League, where Meridian, playing here at home in black against fourth-ranked Linden, needed a win to really keep their playoff hopes alive, and they got it, convincingly, 35-13. Picking up the action in the third, Meridian leads 20-7 as Nick Marino gets the three-yard touchdown, and with the two-point conversion, it's 28-7 Trojans. Meridian sews it up with another Marino touchdown, this one a 12-yard romp as the Trojans knock off the defending state champs, a win Trojan coach Bob Ames agrees they had to have. Big time, big time. The kids, kids just played fantastic. It was, a, it was a tremendous surprise after all the adversity we've had last week, and with kids hurt and sick, and and stuff. The kids really sucked it up. We beat a real class football team today. This is like this, the game of the season. We, didn't, we lost this one. We weren't going to go to playoffs. Now we're now we're contesting to go to playoffs play good. This is our game of the year right here. We wanted them tough. Bad. Really bad. Coming up tomorrow on New View, we're going to feature this football team, Meridian. The Trojans are in first place in the Watkin County League thanks in part to this win a few weeks back against Linden. And you won't want to miss what Meridian coach Bob Ames has to tell us. This guy has better one-liners than Ross Perot. You think the Watkin County League volleyball race is close? How about football? Three teams could possibly end up tied for first. 
Right now, 10th ranked Meridian leads with one more win than Linden and Linden Christian, but all three have just one league loss. No one's exactly surprised the Trojans are in first, unless you really believe everything Coach Bob Ames says. Well, we never expected to be here. But, uh, you know, we just thought we'd, we'd uh, you know, climb the ladder to seventh place and wallow in mediocrity. It, it feels real good to, to win a couple ball games. One of those wins was a 35 to 13 dismantling of seventh ranked Linden. The Trojans have two games left, a non-league encounter tomorrow night and a must win contest against Blaine next week. People's minds are in it. Uh, we're, we're really business-like. We come out, we, we have business to take care of and we take care of it and, and you know, that's, that's what we do. We're out here to play football and we're out here to win. And Meridian is right in the thick of things in what is arguably the best Class A league in the entire state. The Trojans have to like where they're at. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sleeping real well. I get the, the itches and, and, the, and the ticks and the, and the whatevers, you know. It's, uh, it's not a real enviable position, I guess. Uh, there is a possibility that there could be, like, three champions, barring, you know, uh, Blaine smitiness. But uh, one, you know, one of them's going to stay home, and that's that's got an on, I guess, all three coaches. Linden Christian is tied with Linden and Meridian with four wins and a loss each in league play. This week's games have been moved to Thursday so that a mini playoff can be held if all three teams win their last league games. The mini play in the Watkins County League last night, Linden, Linden Christian, and Meridian all needed to win to have a shot at the playoff. First to foggy Nooksack Valley, where Linden Christian was hoping for at least a share of their fourth straight Watkin County League title. The Lynx scored on their first possession as Grant Terpstra hit Jason Van Hofwagen for the 31-yard touchdown, and LC led 6-0. Nooksack came right back, though, behind the strong running of Britt Lentz as he scores from one yard out, and Nooksack had a 7-6 lead. But the lead was short-lived as Linden Christian came back to win 39-15, Link quarterback Grant Terpstra passed for 275 yards on the night. On to Laurel, Meridian in black was also hungry last night for a shot at postseason action, but it took a while for the Trojans to get on track against Blaine. Down 7-0, Meridian quarterback Bob Benham finds Joey Simmons from seven yards out. The Trojans missed the extra point, and it was 7-6 Blaine. The Borderites take a 14-6 lead on this 55-yard interception return from Denver Wood, but big plays would account for all Blaine's points because the Meridian defense was stingy, allowing the Borderites just 25 total yards as Meridian goes on to win 31-14. So there will be a mini playoff Saturday in Bellingham. By virtue of a coin flip, Lyndon Christian will play Meridian in the first game. The winner goes on to state. The loser plays Lyndon in the second game. The winner of that contest also goes on to state.